a major religious holiday has just passed and my youngest wanted to attend church um, so you know we went ahead and um, spent most of the afternoon at the church I enjoyed the fellowship with the uh, regular church members I also enjoyed the spontaneity of um, the singing uh, because it was a church that focused a lot of the service on singing so that was very enjoyable and also I um, you know made sure that I paid attention to the sermon uh, just to see how the, the pastor would tie in the religious holiday into I guess the biblical event that it connects to um, so that was um, my church experience so a few days after that I was thinking about myself as a child uh, and going into young adulthood and the way that I was raised in terms of you know the church or religious experience my mother made us go to church now mind you my mother did not attend with us she simply sent us to church and um, that's just, that is the experience that um, I had along with um, some of my sisters she had a friend who had a storefront church back in those days and he was the pastor of that church and he would pick us up early Sunday mornings first of all to attend the Sunday school session and then when that was completed we would then be allowed into the general um, church session so we'd go to Sunday school and I always liked it I always liked Sunday school because here I got to listen to um, different stories um, religious stories and I liked that because there was always some type of um, moral lesson to be learned at the end um, so I had no issues in regards to that I think that the issue that came up most in terms of Sunday school um, wasn't with me I think it was actually with my mum's friend who would take us who was a pastor because um, he would conduct the Sunday school service for the kids and um, I remember him commenting to my mum because he felt I was always asking too many questions now I was a child then and um, I had a lot of questions um, you know about life so when I listened to religious stories because they're symbolic it was very hard for me to match them with real life so it's true I did ask a lot of questions if he um, presented a Sunday school service and it was about heaven I would be asking him things like well where is heaven and how do we get there and can you see it in the sky or if you can't see it is it above the sky is it on another planet you know questions like that and I think that it was a little bit too much for you know for the pastor at that point in time my experience as a young child to a mature woman at this stage has shown me that there are many questions that still for me remain unanswered and questions like what you may ask well from a young child I, as I mentioned it, it started with you know where is heaven you know what is heaven where can it be found okay so um, you know the whole concept of, of God being um, surrounded by the male image you know where was a female image there now, where can I find myself 
where can I connect with myself there? Um, Christ had a mother that um, gave birth to him through immaculate conception. What's that? Um, the whole concept of the disciples um, being a group of, you know, 12 men who would go out and empower other people. So where are the women in there? Um, Christ being um, killed in his 30s and what? Never having a relationship with anyone? No partner, no wife, no nothing? Why is it every time something gets mentioned in terms of religious ideology, mm, I don't see myself there. Where are the people in religion or in the Bible that look like me? You know, I'm thinking that maybe when the church is able to start answering the questions that I started to ask as a youth to this time now, maybe when they are willing and able to answer such questions, maybe they will start fulfilling their true purpose. So I'm reflecting on that church service and I'm asking myself the question, why are you not going to church? Do you not believe in a higher power? Yes. Do you not believe in humanity? Yes. Do you not believe in your own spirituality? Yes. Do you not believe in some sort of practical moral code to live by? Yes. Do you not believe in empowerment of people and women especially? Yes. So why then? I ask myself, are you not going to church? So in hindsight, maybe I'm asking the wrong question. Maybe the question shouldn't be, why are you not going to church? Maybe the question should be, why has the church gone away from me and many people like me who yes we share a strong belief in a higher power but also beyond the beliefs that I just mentioned we also believe in questioning in questioning authority, in questioning ideologies, in questioning institutions, institutions like the church, especially when they have been around for centuries and they have a large impact upon many people. I question because it appears that they do not or are not improving the lives of people in any significant way. I thank you for sharing your time with me. I hope that my hindsight has and will inspire you and that you will find your own way to blossom.